I.O. avoiding algorithms can be messy, much messier than their conventional RAM model counterparts anyway. But we started this lesson by trying to argue that this effort can be very worthwhile. Remember the exercise where you looked at potential reductions in I.O.s given realistic memory hierarchy parameters? You saw that there's a lot of potential to make computations faster. Now this would happen if you could make memory access as contiguous and exploit fast memory capacity to the greatest extent possible. And those wins can happen even if the factors of improvement are only log L or log Z in the case of merge sort. In closing this lesson, let me make one final meta comment for you to think about. Our model assumes that the time spent moving data dominates. That means you should look for ways to reduce IOs. But how do you know whether data movement dominates? In thinking about that question, let me suggest that now is a good time for you to pause, go back, and revisit some of our other high-level concepts, like computational intensity and machine balance.